Google Glass has been an absolute treat to use. It has found a way into my life in which at first I was really skeptical on, mainly because it's a phone on your face. How does the 5 megapixel camera hold up as well as 720p HD video? Today I'm going to go ahead and show you the video demo as well as the pictures I've taken. So I took Google Glass to my local park and around my neighborhood, and I think it does a pretty good job of capturing all the colors within, you know, the grass, the nature, the trees, etc. But it's not up to your standard with the standard smartphone cameras that we see today, you know, coming with 1080p video and really being able to capture finite detail. But again, I think this is a pretty good job for what it is. The reason why you're not hearing the audio now is Google Glass finds a way to find the wind. The microphone is somewhat sensitive and really just drains out all the audio in there and that can be viewed as a negating factor to Google Glass but again it's really just a beta kind of technology that we're gonna have to grow accustomed to. So the activity I'm doing in this video here is I'm using a three-legged kind of power swerve is that's what I call it at least in powers generated via your hips you need to move left to right and you can get up to some really insane speeds I mean 15 miles an hour I, I consider that pretty good for a recreation device like this um, but keep in mind here it is a bit shaky there's no built-in stabilization but again I think it captures the nature pretty well so up next I went to a place called extreme trampoline it's truly become a phenomenon with activities today just dunking a simple foam ball in a net to see how it really captures it whilst jumping in the air now here I'm just you know jumping on trampolines as there's a plethora of trampolines to jump on uh, we were doing flips and stuff but Google Glass kept falling off when I was mid-flight so to truly finalize out this test here I took some pictures up in a lake house surrounded by real nature and I thought this was the best way to really captivate what glass can do. Uh, you can definitely see there's a bit of noise when you really look far, but again, it's a 5 megapixel camera, so I'm not holding it too high. It's really good with up close things, I will say. I, you know, cook some chicken on the grill, and you can really see how well it captures, and then it captures color pretty well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and eat the thumbs up button as it lets me know that you guys are hungry for more Google Glass content. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.